Gamer. With the ability to control minor league rosters and play as your minor league star, March to October for MLB The Show 21 has received major improvements. Welcome back MLB The Show gamers, Andre Lamar Ransom with more breaking news from MLB The Show 21 and today as promised we received new news regarding MLB The Show's March to October. Now for those who are new coming over from Xbox, March to October is a streamlined version of franchise and is meant to be a way of playing through a 162 game season faster. Now, one of the issues plaguing March to October the past two years was the amount of time it actually took to finish an entire season, from opening day all the way through the World Series. Well, based upon today's information from the developer improvement videos released every Tuesday and Thursday through the month of February, it was mentioned that March to October will now only take about 13 hours to complete. Now, of course, individuals have found ways to speed through March to October by speeding up gameplay. However, these methods took away a lot of the immersive experiences that March to October was trying to showcase. Also, another area that was stated to receive an overhaul was trade logic. One thing that plagued March to October for years, in addition to franchise, were the unrealistic trade offers that could be executed. I mean, trading for Mike Trout, Juan Soto, Christian Yellick, for an aging veteran and a few prospects that were not even projected to top out at an overall A rating is not something you would see a general manager do. Well, unless you're my Minnesota Twins. It will be interesting to see exactly how Trade Logic has been revamped in this year's iteration. Now, the biggest addition to March to October that was highlighted in the video is the ability to not only control minor league rosters, but also the ability to control and play with minor league players to basically see them develop the way that you want them to. Now, this is huge with regards to innovation as long as it's implemented correctly. Now, the drawback to this is that some of your more hardcore franchise players see this as a way of watering down franchise and taking away from time that could be spent on making franchise even more in depth. So let us know down in the comments how you feel about this. Do you feel that there can be a balance between March to October and adding in new features that will not take away from franchise? Or would you like for them to do away with March to October altogether and make franchise as in depth as possible. If you haven't already, I want to encourage you to become an SGO Insider. For a small monthly fee, you can receive all of the latest breaking news first as it relates to sports gaming content. If you still have not subscribed to SGO, go ahead and push that subscribe button because it's absolutely free. And don't forget to activate the notification bell so that when we release new information and videos, you'll be the first to know. I'm Andre Lamar Ransom, this is Sports Gamers Online, your number one source for the sports gamer.